Hello YouTube, hello you, Plundermoth here, and uh, yeah, let's let's not waste too much time describing what's happening. It's Crusader Kings 3, it's Royal Court DLC. Um, I'll be honest, I kind of hate myself for buying this, it's like 24 quid, which, I mean, I could buy two good indie games, two really good indie games for that kind of money, you know, I mean... It's, it's a lot. It's a lot to pay for DLC, and by all accounts, the DLC is not particularly fully featured. But it does have one thing in it which I find quite interesting, and I think could be a fairly important change to the way that the game works, and something that I don't know. Maybe it's really good. Maybe it won't do it for me. But either way. I've paid the money, and in order to derive some value from it, I'm going to try and get some content out of it. So uh, let's get into that. Now, I do have an existing save, and as you can see from these very uh, kind of Norse-looking uh, people, it's a Viking run, and I'm going to do that again just because I'm lazy. Um, learn the game as Petty King Mercad. No, I won't be doing that. No, no way. I've played this game before. Thank you. So we're going to go Wrath of the Northmen. We're going to go with um, play as your own ruler, and I like to play as a Viking because it's easy. Um, I've seen people complaining about Prestige Generation, but I think they might just be very bad at the game. They, like, you know, Prestige Generation as a Viking, just raid, always be raiding. It's not complicated, so unless they've changed the raiding mechanics, uh, this shouldn't be an issue. And Typically, I will like to start somewhere up here where we've all these like nice juicy counties, um, <coughs> single county uh, independent counts, chieftains, whatever you want to call them. Um, I don't actually know which one's best. Uh, give me a minute while I, while I work that out. Okay, so first thing to note is I need to remember that I don't need to announce when I'm going to pause the recording uh, here. I'm doing it a lot. Um, um, previously, for some reason, I changed the way OBS records videos and uh, used the format that doesn't let you pause while while recording. And uh, so it's all new to me because I've gone back to MKVs, which is much larger file size, but also I can pause whenever I want. And oh, I just have to remember that I can just do it. I don't have to tell you about it. Anyway, uh, I think we're probably going to go with Rogaland. I believe I've done this before. I think it's a pretty good start. Um, Chieftain Heliaskin here. He's humble which is bad. His content, which is fine, uh, is actually not great, is it? Yeah, it doesn't really have a big impact, but he's lustful, which is excellent. And so we're going to start as him. Uh, your son, Hastein Helga Skinson, is uh, Av Rogland, is your new player heir. Let's have a look at him. So it's been a while since I played CK3 as well, I should say, uh, and I'm going to be fumbling a lot of stuff. So here's my balanced child. He's two years old, and there's not a lot more to say about him than that. Here's me. Let's get the full breakdown on me. Wow, I suck. Okay. That's not great. Um, why am I so bad at everything? I'm a fortune builder. That should be plus six stewardship. Humble isn't malice. I mean, I lose an, an intrigue. I gain two learning. Last fall puts two on the intrigue. Um, I just suck at everything. Diplomacy, bad, terrible, in fact. Marshal, poor. Getting some help from the wife as well. Stewardship, average. Well, I mean, that's not the end of the world. Intrigue and learning. Uh, Chiefess Asta of Rogaland, our evil wife. <laughs> Who is barely better than we are. Well, these people all suck. Also have another child, an elder daughter, ten years old. Freya. Hilyarskin daughter. I'm not going to be able to do... I, I apologise to any Scandinavians watching. It's going to be brutal. I'm going to I'm going to wreak havoc on your language and culture. I can only apologise or apologise. So I can't even pronounce English words, never mind Swedish ones. Um, anyway, that's Rogaland. Uh, we have... Let's look at the most important thing. We have 407 troops. How vulnerable are our neighbours? Wow, you're tooled up. And so are you. Oh, are we actually in a really bad spot here? Do I have to restart? Everybody's got loads of troops. What's going on? Oh, this is 867, right? Wow. 
Okay, I picked the weakest count in the land. That's that's not smart. Are we going to be able to do anything about it? 24 gold, 300 prestige. Um, damn, this is terrible. Maybe we should just go with Erica instead. Yeah, I'm afraid I'm actually going to do that. And I think I can just go switch character and just go, I'll be, I'll be this one, thanks. Cool, so, <laughs> there we go. Sorry about that, uh, Chieftain Heldiaskin. It turns out you were a clown, and instead we're going to be the much younger, more attractive, and considerably more militarily uh, equipped Chieftain Erika of Hordaland. And um, that's great. Oh, we've got lots of concubine options already. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to invade Rogaland. What's the actual deal with the de jour? I might, you know, I'm sure you have opinions on how you say de jour, de jure. I don't, I'm not, it's not that I don't care. It's just that I, I, I'm i not going to pay attention. Uh, how do I find the button with the thing? This isn't what, I don't care about the dynasty. No, this was a mistake. I didn't mean to click this. Uh, this is what I want, right? Yeah, okay. De jure part of uh, Gula Pingslug. Oh, cool. Okay, yeah. So we can just take take over Rogaland and then we we will be in a position to also lay claim on Sone, who is actually also very weak. So we should just rin rinse these guys super fast, get on with it. Um, <coughs> so I'm, you know, so far just doing vanilla CK3 things, but there is this DLC um, and we should see what we can learn about the royal court. Uh, well, let's meet our wife as well. She's also 17 years old. She's a temperate, trusting, vengeful, brilliant strategist and organiser. Holy God, you're quite the catch, aren't you, darling? Welcome. Welcome to Hordland. You and I, we will rule this land. It's going to be good. And we do have a kid already. Not wasting any time. Call her Eriksson. Nothing to report. He's just a normal boy. With a great future ahead of him. All right then, uh, we'll go to war soon. But I want to look at my court. Where do I do that? So I don't really know where all the new stuff is. Uh, I've recently reinstalled Windows, so like all of my kind of saved progress in this game has just been gone. It thinks I've never seen it before. Uh, I, I have I don't know how many hours I've got. Let me look. I've got like mm, 170 odd. I want to say 100 a bit less. 150. Just coming up to 150 hours in CK3. Um, I will do it now so it's done and I don't have to do it again. My it's probably relevant to do it now as well. My opinion of CK3 is it's fine. It's a very good game. It's you know. It's a bit soulless, and I mean, it, there was never any expectation that it would come out of, of the womb fully featured like CK2 is. There are many things it does better than CK2, but being a an incredibly like complex and interesting game isn't one of them. Like, if you want to play and get the most entertainment, I'd say CK2 is still miles ahead, just miles ahead in. I mean, obviously, like, you know, so many things in CK2 which are just extraordinary and, like, you know, just things that you can't do in CK3. Uh, so, you know, that's not to say I think CK3 is a bad game. It's it's a great game. It's just hamstrung by the fact that it's a sequel to arguably the greatest strategy game ever made. In fact, not even arguably, just the greatest strategy game ever made. And that makes life difficult for anyone trying to follow on from that. And I've, I think they've done a good job. They've done an interesting job and taken some surprising decisions and brave decisions. And they haven't always paid off, but fair play to them. And the same is probably true of the Royal Court, which, again, I know very little about. But they've taken the game in a different direction. They're not just trying to replicate CK2 content. They're trying to do something different with it. And it might be really good. Or it might not. We'll find out. But, um... Oh, yeah, so... Guardian for the kid. Yeah, I understand. Um, let's do that then while we, we're actually on the subject. Uh, I mean, I suppose I should do it. I'm a bit of a, I'm a bit of a dork. I mean, his mother's good. Let's let's just have it that I'll do it for the moment because it's easy. 
and we'll get lots of events and let's uh, let's do the lifestyle thing um I mean let's be let's be honest it's gonna be Marshall isn't it what's his actual deal uh, why can't I click through to you I sure I could okay uh, he's nine on Marshall that's fine what do I want uh prowess isn't really what we need Marshall flat Marshall or Marshall and dread we'll just take flat Marshall yeah, and then uh, we don't actually have a perk available yet because we are that fresh off of the press. So the next thing is, let's just have a look at this. You can declare wars, you can hire a court physician, few champions not endorsed by your goatee. Yeah, it's standard. Um, what about all this royal court business? One other problem here, I've forgotten what a lot of the uh, kind of the keyboard shortcut buttons are. So let's press the preview keys, F1, F2, F3, F4. Four, F five, court. Huh, antiquarian. Court tutor. These all cost money that I don't really have. What's my? Um, one other thing at the moment. It's punishingly bright in this room at the moment. In fact, I'm. There we are, that's better. I've just closed the curtains. You know that kind of extremely bright winter sunlight? It's just even, you know, in the summer maybe it's a bit hazy, but it's just so cold and bright and couldn't see a damn thing. I can now almost see the screen. In fact, there is still a sliver of, a sliver of light on the far wall that's interfering with my, my ability to, to see my monitor properly. It is very dark, CK3. It's, I mean, obviously I'm looking at quite a dark area of the map let's change that but it is it is very dark mode and I am an old man I don't, I don't like dark mode because uh, I actually understand a little bit about how eyes work um, it's better to be able to see things I know right anyway uh, that's a weird detour um, the point is I can actually see the screen now and all of this exciting new content so we're doing 1.2 per month I'm not spending a tenth of that on like a court tutor for my one boy. Antiquarian is interesting. Not seen this before. Effects vary based on aptitude. What happens if we click this? We get some options. Artifact decay reduction. Minus 7% to minus 35%. So art artifacts decay. That's the first thing I've learned. Enables you to reforge or repair artifacts. Going to be useful. Unlocks the commission artifact decision, expensive, and protects artifacts during sieges and raids. Yeah. So this is another reason why I wanted to be the Norse, is because obviously, you know, while well, commissioning artifacts is fine, just stealing them from your neighbours seems much more efficient. And what is the... I assume this is a learning-based thing? Sort by aptitude, which is learning, surely. Tell me. It's Marshall. Oh, right, so yeah, Malm 4 has 8, everybody else has 1. Uh, we don't have anything for you to work with. Prisoners, your courtier, empty court positions. I, I had assumed that on this button we would actually be able to look at the, the, the new court thing. Decisions. Nope. F9 is encyclopedia, F10 does nothing, and so on down the line, I assume. Yeah, okay. Well, can't I just click here? Show me my court. Stress level. It is installed, isn't it? I mean, oh yeah, it is, because we've got the the thing. Are there any buttons? I grant you this is probably not the most exciting content, watching me working out how to... Court. Yeah, but, 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 but surely the button's here. Oh, there's more. Hang on. I'm, I'm, I'm being slow. Seneschal, control growth, bodyguard, powerful agent, and so, okay, yeah, that's cool, that's new. I have never in CK2 or 3 been much into intrigue, because it just doesn't, you know, it, it's a blob game, isn't it? You get big blob, make blob bigger, more numbers. Um, and that saddens me, I'd like to be better at that kind of thing. But what can you do? Maybe we'll get more into it now. Uh, and this is the thing where the, the, the whole 3D court thing kind of... I'm hoping will feed into this because you 
just get a, more of a sense for the individual characters in your court, which is another area where typically, you know, you've got like 50, 60 guys at court and you're just like, I don't know who these people are, they've just all got stupid names and I don't understand them and I don't care about them as long as they don't try and kill me. And it would be nice if maybe the the 3D court thing kind of helped to, you know, flesh these characters out and make them a bit more interesting. Personal champion, food taster, master of the horse, master of... Sun. This is a lot of the CK2 stuff, slightly different, but the court positions. But what there isn't here is a button enabling me to look... Ah, there we go. You do not have access to the royal court. You are not a king or emperor. Huh. Well, I tell you what, we can change that quite quickly. Let's work on fixing that. Okay, so first things first. Yeah, let's just... I think we just straight up declare on him. Hang on a minute, is that a bad idea? We've got 50% troop advantage. He's got mountains and plains. and I think we just go for him. I think we win this fight. Hey, neighbour. Uh, Conquer County. Yeah, let's do it. Cost of 50 piety. Okay, that's exactly how much piety we've got. Now is the day to do it because we're losing 0.6 a month. So war has been declared. Now I remember how this works. Rally point. Raise all... Cool. What else do we want to do before? So all of these buttons are taken care of. We have a few champions. Uh, recruits are caught at some cost. Von Folki Rudolf Einstein. We can pay for men at arms regiments and probably should do. Oh, we already have 300. What do you mean unraised? We've got one. Are they unraised? I would have thought they'd be raised. Wouldn't that have happened when I went with raise all armies? Hmm. 305 levies. 300 men at arms. Making 605. The total number, as we know. 609. Alright. We've got four champions. Yeah. Yeah. Good point. Well made. Why have they not rallied? Is that because... Raise all men at arms here as well. Yeah, okay. So let's time. All right, so they've 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 appeared. That's good. Where's the date? Oh, down here. Okay, we took a day too long about that. So um, let's just march. We're just going to win. Apparently, we're not just going to win. I feel that we are going to win though. I mean, if we don't, we'll just restart as a king. <laughs> I do want to look at the, uh, do want to look at the the court and see what it looks like, because you know it's great and everything building up. I like, I always play this game as a count and build from there. Uh, yeah, we're fine. It's fine. It's gonna take some really bad dice rolls here. Hongir has rampaged through your soldiers and become a berserker. That's bad. But Hongir has been wounded. Einstein has had his head ripped off by Dan. I mean, what were you? It just says counsellor. It doesn't say what type of counsellor. Looks like he was our steward. That's unfortunate. Um, Folky. Why don't you become our new steward? Hey, so here's a thing that they... Oh, we need a new marshal as well. Uh, yeah, Rodolfo. I'm making you the marshal. At this point, I just want to win my war. Uh, so, the good news is we have basically done that and we can go full speed at this point. Yep, you failed. War is over. Wife is pregnant. Life is good. Enforce demands. And we now own Rogaland as well as Hordland and we can start setting our eyes on soon. But before we do that, let's uh, disband these guys and then get our men at arms up. Great men at arms regiment. Um, what do we want to do here? So we've got Bondi, who are very cheap. Um, just good spearmen, counter, counter cab, and archers. They seem pretty strong. Uh, Knight footmen are the cheapest. 
I'm not seeing facts. If I click this, do I just... Well, I think I want Bowman, though. We do actually get to see the info before we, we set them up, so let's let's do that. Uh, I feel like a, a class... A, like a, a one Bowman is, is going to be useful. It's, it's all about these numbers, right? So damage and toughness. No pursuit, no screen. That's fine. All right, a Bondi gives you pursuit. I don't really care about pursuit. I mean, it's nice to be able to mop up, but... Like damage, but you're getting a lot of damage in exchange for your money, and these guys do. Hmm, could be useful. All right, let's let's go varied. We'll buy one of these, and we'll also buy a. Hey, hey, no, no. Eh. What button do I press? That one. We'll buy one of these as well. We'll we'll keep it varied because you know I'm a I'm a military tactician. I'm a I'm I'm a, a proper. I mean, I know I'm only 17, but already I feel my future is is war. So, um, and so is the future of my children as well. Because we've got to get ourselves uh, a nice little. It is sweet. It's Norway, isn't it? Actually, now I think about it, yeah, it is. It is Norway. Um, <coughs> Sweden is much easier to set up, but uh, Norway is. I mean, the thing is, Norway has so many independent counts, you can just knock them over pretty quickly. Uh, we need 16. We're on two. That's fine. More war, I would say. Actually, no, we need to let the military uh, recover a little bit. I thought F2 was the key. No, nope, I'm a fool. F4, F3, okay. Uh, so, we'll wait until all of our men-at-arms have recovered. Up to 540 on the levies. Pure levies, 540. So we're looking at... Um, Oh, they've had a size boost. Hey, that's that's new. You never used to get that. Cool. Plus 100 men. Cost of 81 influence. Do I want to spend all of my influence? I've got a bit of a problem here. I see what the problem is. Let's pause. Advice county control. Yeah, I'm not interested. Uh, hologram blocked. I don't think so. Thanks, though. Raise runestone. Definitely not. Um, victory in the battles, and here, low county control in Rogaland. I, I think that's just not something I'm too fussed about. Like, I can send one of... I forget which one it is. Who does the... Um, like, maybe we have you do stuff, I don't know. Um, right, so you're... Because uh, my concern that I kind of half-mentioned... Pretty worried about my piety. Going to be difficult to declare wars unless we fix this. Uh, so we won't be having you fabricate any claim. So we can increase development, collect taxes, foreign affairs, domestic affairs, train commanders, increase control. Yeah, I see. I would rather have you do something else, like getting you tied down to increase control in Rogaland. It'll be fine in the long term. We don't need to rush that. Uh, secret schemes and disrupt schemes. All right. Okay, a brief pause there while I just sort of work out what's happening. If I've read this correctly, county control plus zero. Huh? So I'm getting plus 0.1 out the gate. Not the increase of. And then if I set him to increase control, he does nothing. Doesn't seem like a good deal. So uh, that's great. We are just going to carry on then. I... I Obviously, like the minus piety is a serious problem, but I don't know what to do about it. We've got a bit of money. Maybe we can fix this through decisions. Grand block. Does the grand block actually help our piety? I guess it must do. Um, but there's money involved, and I, I can't afford any of this nonsense. Go on a pilgrimage. Often a good good option. Minimum cost 50 bucks, which is exactly what I have. knock up a bit of piety mm. it's a tough choice but I believe being a pilgrim will give me a permanent modifier positive modifier to my piety numbers can we see the piety numbers by the way uh, that's the faith numbers. I want to know about my numbers. Yeah, okay. Religious relations and learning. Ooh, double sin. 
forgiving and deceitful. That's pretty bad. That's going to be why it's a problem. Um, mm, let's do it. Uh, the one that costs the least, please. <laughs> somewhere else, somewhere I can afford to go. Uh, why are they getting more expensive? Uh, yeah, we'll go. We'll go to Nidoros. Thanks. Which really is a short pilgrimage. As I prepare for my journey, I know that I will travel safely under the protection of the gods. Though I will not be gone for long, I pray for the well-being of the realm in my absence. Mm -hmm. It's all going to be fine. Don't you worry. Go away. Yeah, so I do need to fix the bishop endorsement. Uh, where is the goadie? It would be nice if you actually gave me the page. Uh, where will I find this irritant? Troublesome priest, bring him to me. Hey, I turned 18. Courtiers. Goadie. You. We are going to sway you. That's right. Start scheme. Good, right, that's taken care of. Hopefully that will make life a little bit less unpleasant from a piety perspective. Out here late at night I sometimes look to the stars and wonder, can the gods even see me this far from home? What am I doing all this for? Dedicated pilgrim. 10%. Mm. Stress, worldly pilgrimage, diplomacy plus two, theatrical pilgrimage. I'll take the piety boost please. Doesn't seem to have done a huge amount to help. An expensive way to gain nothing. Oh, we have arrived. I have walked the Holy... Oh, there we go. That's what we're talking about. F that's a conversion rate that I can get behind. All right, military, how are we looking? We are not looking great. Why are my levies so bad? Come on, levies. Hurry up. I can probably take him now. Uh, 633, hmm, maybe not. No reason to rush it. Pilgrimage, the return. Okay. He's maxed out at 633. What are my options for war? 50 piety on a... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, that's, that's, that's great. We'll just, uh, we'll go speed 4. And... I think within a reasonable amount of time we should be looking at getting after them. Praise Freya! Gudrun has given birth to a perfect little daughter who we will call Sif. Good name. That's easy to say. Oh, the levies are starting to kick in. Here we go. Here we go. Soon we will have the county under our control and we can we can look to consolidate and then from there we will form the kingdom of Norway and actually get to use this DLC Whee! making decent money I'm not unhappy with the cash uh, what's going on we have one on red message mm. I don't see it we did lose a champion that's fine so so new your your levy seem to have gone down a little bit are you at war oh you've been raided Hey, yeah, we should be raiding, but first we've got to we've got to do this guy. So uh, let's go. Let's just have a look and see how this raid is is developing. It doesn't seem to be going very well for you. Raiding army is in a battle and doing pretty well. They don't seem to be losing any. Oh no, that's all right. That was actually the I was looking at the wrong numbers. Often the way. Uh, how you doing, buddy? Down to 474. You're looking pretty weak. Look, I mean, if you want to just vassalize, no. Okay. How about you stop pretending that you have any right to that county at all? It's mine. I'm taking it. Let's go. Raise. So, do I have to click the men at arms button? I don't. They just automatically go. And, uh, yeah, if you would be so kind as to walk over here and just uh, kill all of these people. Thank you. Again, we're getting a more soldiers. He's defending in mountains, but I think if we get there quickly we should be able to win. Uh, I 
don't know, maybe... What's, is there river crossing as well? There's not. Defensive buildings. I think we win. If we don't, this is going to be very embarrassing, obviously. The sacking of Rogaland. Who are you? Ferdai Fulki. That's fine. We will avenge this slight, and we are winning the war just about. It's a little bit shady. Oh, I don't like this. Don't you dare come after me. We will take care of you in time. Okay. Uh, number two, and this time we're defending in mountains, and uh, yeah, this time it's going to get ugly. So who is this guy? You. Oh, you're, you're the northern barrier, are you? Okay, you're definitely next. Not having any of that. You've chosen a bad, a bad time to tangle with me, sir. Because I'm looking for targets. And you're just volunteering yourself. They, these boys aren't giving up easily. I'd, I'd rather you just went away, thanks. You've lost, like, half our troops. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Stop. I'm trying to seed your... Thing. Just, just lose already, yeah? That was better. Alright, we're nearly there. We're nearly there. What's happened here? Did we lose? Oh, uh, we've... Sweet smiles and little lies. Just like other children his age, my son and heir, Collar, sometimes lies and tests boundaries. However, he often avoids suspicion with his sweet demeanour, and people always forgive him when he does get caught. I just wonder how much he gets away with it. So, um, he gets charming. Good for him. Good for him. I approve. You know what else is charming? Having won this war. Enforce demands. Give me your county. Yeah. Bit of fame. Bit of, bit of prestige. We've got a prisoner who uh, we can hang or something. I don't know. We'll, we'll work it out. Uh, we have formed the Duchy of Gulathinslog. Not quite yet, but soon. And all we need to make this happen is 125 Kaviders, Spondulics, Dubloons, and Ducats. And that will be coming our way in a sharp order. Hmm. Okay, cool. Uh, let's not forget to disband our armies, because they're very expensive. Speaking of monies, uh, new messages, low control. You can create the duchy. Yeah, cool. Okay, what's happening here? One empty council position. Need a new marshal. Probably should have put Varn in the job in the first place. Also need a new chancellor. Uh, Varn, okay, wait, that was the problem. He was the chancellor, and now he isn't. We don't have... I don't need a chancellor. What do I need a chancellor for? We do with some guests, though, huh? I'm finding the advice a little annoying. All right, uh, so we have completed what I would imagine to be about the right length for an episode. I don't know. I mean, I'm not an expert or anything, but it seems a half an hour is about right. Uh, let's put a cut in here. I always feel very embarrassed about this next bit because, like everybody else, I realise just how odious it is, but if you have watched this far, thank you, first of all. Uh, I do appreciate it. Um, it's really nice uh, when people actually want to watch the drivel that you put on the internet. And with that in mind, if you would like to watch more of this drivel, then, you know, you can you can make those decisions. You can just sit there and look at a playlist. But you could, if you really wanted to make me happy, you could subscribe and you could click the thumbs up button and do all of that stuff. And, I mean, you know, obviously it would be a downside for you because you'd be constantly nagged about sort of all of this rubbish I'm putting online and stuff. And I can see why that wouldn't be good. But at the same time, you'd be doing a good thing and spreading a bit of joy and happiness in the world. Uh, so who's to say what your what your decision will be? I'm just putting the options out there. In the meantime, uh, thank you once again for watching this nonsense. And if you do feel like watching episode two, I'd be very grateful. Until then.